Well, we got the stuff to start today. I had to uh, buy this actually. This was somebody used this once and then returned it, so I got it for five dollars Canadian. That's about four dollars American. And it's a nice soldering iron. It's really good. Circuit test. It's actually a company that makes soldering stuff. 30 watts, not too high end uh, power wise, but definitely good enough for what we're doing. So we got that. We also bought this. I want to show you this copper clad board. Single sided copper clad board. Uh, it's made by this company. It was about $6, so about 5 US. Now, it's quite thick. I didn't want to get copper clad board this thick because the high end antennas for 900 megahertz I got were very thin as compared to that so but this is just going to be our reflector so we're going to have our squares once I finish them lined up you can see here and I've prepared these or at least this one for soldering already by clearing off some of the coating and this one as well so basically what we're going to build is a panel antenna much like this one and I'm going to try the reflectors the non-conductive parts there I'm try to hold this steady here I'm going to try to do the plates above too now you can see it's been spaced with little plastic so my alternative because I'm into durability I got this also uh, just to interrupt to score this clad board and once you've scored 50% of it you can usually break it in half and snap it otherwise you have to use a Dremel tool and it's quite messy and I wouldn't want to breathe the PCB uh, fiberglass dust so I'm going to be cutting it with a utility knife and I got some solder these are about two dollars which is awesome but what we're going to be building is this antenna for my setup that's coming, the diversity receiver. And uh, got some flights in today, but Fat Shark HD V2 camera seems to skip while recording as well. And I bought a really expensive micro SD card for video alone. I think it's class 10. It costs a lot of money, and I didn't want to test with something that was inferior. so. Anyways, that didn't work out, and it only recorded two of my flights out of eight flights. Uh, made these 2K files, and uh, they just didn't—they uh, just didn't record. I guess sometimes if you stop recording, all of a sudden it will do that. So maybe I unplugged it. To be fair, but uh, if it's unpowered, it should be closing the files and finishing them off. And I tried to close out the files by recording another file at the end of the series of pictures and it just didn't work they were still 2k so somehow those got lost because it was blinking and it was timing the whole time but it wasn't recording video so that's just complete unacceptable bug for such a company that has such a high high uh, level of uh, competence you would think and I uh, was very disappointed by that it cost quite a bit of money too I only got a small discount on it and it's still pretty crap so sorry for that rant but we're going to be using foam as our divider you can see the distance here is about 1 16th and I've got this 1 16th foam so we're going to put this over top of the clad because it's transparent to RF signals then we're going to mount our squares on top of this pad and we have some thinner foam as well that I could use uh, and then we'll build up the reflectors on top with a pad and a pad and a pad and that'll protect our soldering points and all our connections have to be careful not to melt the foam but it will protect it for impact and twisting and turning and stuff like that and I still have the actual coax coming so I can't really finish it tonight or tomorrow but that's pretty well all the stuff I'll need not including the pigtail to make this uh, panel antenna and maybe I'll make one with eight squares larger and see what that does. It's all about experimenting. Anyways, have a good day, guys. And watch out for those super deals at your local electronics store. Five bucks. As crude as it gets, guys, here's mine. And uh, in the clip, you'll see that mine actually 
has a better range, better signal strength than the $38 or $14 one that you can get. That's the range of price on this one. With the reflectors that aren't connected to anything, but look fancy. This is getting better range, and that's a thick PCB on the back. Nice, thick copper, about 132nd, 116th, 116th foam. And then I'm going to finish it off by putting this on front, and I have a really well padded antenna. Okay, my antenna is on the right. That's that one there. And I just made really quick. And then that one is there. And I'm going to go outside and we're going to see which one bails out first. I didn't really measure mine, so it's a really crude antenna. But let's get the numbers in frame here. And you can see the numbers for the antennas now. Mine is at 77, 86, 85, 86, 93 for the other tuned, properly made antenna. Now I'm going to go for a walk outside and we'll see how far it goes with the 600 milliwatt transmitter.